All right, so we have a new option for us to keep clean on the trail, camping. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel. Ah, glad to have you all here. Uh, it's been a little while and I haven't been as frequently posting, but we will try to change that. I don't know how successful I'll be. So I've been looking for a solution, a simple solution to shower and clean while camping, should there not be facilities near where I'm staying. So I came up with a simple solution to start that includes this rechargeable shower head. Basically you got a shower head on top, you got a battery that you can drop down into like a jerry can or even like your five gallon clear collapsible containers. This will fit in there and then you have a rechargeable battery here. That's kind of the first part of the kit, a shower head. The ability to actually use the water with a pump built into it. Next, collapsible 20 liter bucket. We'll see how well this works. I'm not sure yet. And then to top it off, I got a little fancy. Again, looking at typically like your stand up shower, like collapsible, like tent showers, things like that. I know uh, plenty of folks who've had those that uh, collapse under wind issues, etc. I didn't really want to deal with taking down a tent and putting up a tent. Even though they're simple, I just didn't really feel like it. So picked up a this shower awning from Kick-Ass Outback and uh, this mounts to my Prinsu rack on the side of it and then it basically unzips, folds out and we'll do kind of a display of that. Very similar mounting. Those are the screws that are in the back to mount it. Very similar mounting as your awning mounts. So you can use like your typical awning mounts uh, to mount this. So let's open up the box here real quick. Kind of show you what's included in the box. Kick-Ass Outback does offer a shower head kit with pump all built in, rechargeable. Uh, similar to this, when I was purchasing the tent, it was out of stock. So I found this one on Amazon. Obviously there's a bunch of them. I'm sure the manufacturer for Kick-Ass, probably they all come from the same manufacturer because this one on Amazon looks almost exactly like the kit that was on Kick-Ass Outdoors. However, this one uh, that I purchased was a third of the price. And like always, we'll link that in the description. So your basic shower head. This is a six foot hose. Uh, you have your shower head that does not have any kind of switch on it or the ability to angle anything here. From what I could tell, that's a little different. Concept's the same. Uh, the hose is a little twisted here, so hopefully that doesn't um, cause issues. And then you have a cord that you plug into your rechargeable battery. This battery is 2200 milliamps. Of course, it's made in China, but basically charge it up. comes with a, a standard, well, it's a barrel plug, but USB-A charger that you plug into this, plug into the wall, charge it up. Uh, it does have what looks like a rubber waterproof kind of or water resistant power button. This just plugs in here. And then what you do is you clamp your battery to the hose and then drop and submerge um, whatever, you know, to whatever depth your device is to capture water. So like in this here, we'll make sure that the battery is above the water line, right? Obviously you don't want your battery getting in the, in the, uh, in the water. Uh, it does state that the battery is waterproof, I believe, but I'm not gonna risk that. 
Uh, what I do like about this is the size of this. I have had another rechargeable one that had a much wider all encompass battery, rechargeable, kind of all together, didn't have a separate battery like this one did. But I wanted one that was small that I could fit into more water capture devices like a jerry can or like some of your common water containers that you can take with you. It's a 20 liter bucket. We have just a handful of these. Again, Amazon, they're very inexpensive. Uh, and they work actually pretty well. Once they are filled with water, they stabilize and stand up on their, their own. And very inexpensive, easy to fold up, store, keep collapsed, and then an emergency fill up with, uh, with water. And that's what they were purchased for, for emergencies originally. And so this will probably be what's used in conjunction all together to store the water. It does come with, actually it does come with what looks like another nozzle in here so you have in the bag charging cable um, you do have another nozzle that you can connect onto your right up here actually under the head so it does come with what looks very similar to um, kick-ass uh, kick outdoors shower that they sell again a uh, third of the price i'm not sure if it's just the labeling that gets it or not but you have to think that most of these products come from the same place uh, then it comes with a suction cup uh, mount where you can go ahead and mount your um, shower head on it. The thing that would improve this is if there was a button here up higher on the actual shower head that allowed you to turn on and off the water. It does not have anything like that. So really, once you press the power button on your battery here, it's gonna start working on the water and you're gonna start having a water flow. I have looked at, I don't even know how many videos I watched and reviewed, but I wanted to get one just to try out at a very low cost. I think total that I spent for both of these was like 30 bucks tops. Um, actually, I think I got two of these for $10, so even less than that, right? So 25 bucks for these, just try it out. And if you already have like a tent for changing, etc., or even if you just want to rinse off without having to take a full on shower, like you're coming from the beach, this is a super easy solution for $25 out of pocket, just to give you the ability to have some running pressurized water moving water to help you, you know, stay clean. We'll have some more videos coming up. I have purchased some other things, placed the rooftop tent so the super light is gone. Free Spirit Odyssey on there now, and we'll have a separate video for that, but I'm kind of trying to piece all of this together in one kind of common theme. Let's, um, let's get into some B-roll to show you how, number one, we're using the tub the collapsible bucket, shower, B-roll of that, and then of this working, and then you have an idea, and you know, an expensive setup for you to just get going, and then you can start diving into the more expensive, uh, if you don't wanna just jump into that right off the bat, so. All right, so I probably should have highlighted a few other things. Uh, the bottom of this cap does come off, so you can clean out, blow out this filter, if you'd like to, it's really just a plastic impeller that creates that pump. Each of these end pieces twist off so you can let the hose dry out. Uh, it is just plastic, pretty easy. There's a little bit of water in there from just running that. And uh, the details, which I didn't, didn't let you know, are uh, this little battery is said to last for 45 to 60 minutes. Uh, I did do a test on that 20 liter uh, collapsible bucket and it actually ran with having water coming out of this the whole time for a little over five minutes, which is pretty, pretty good if you need to wash yourself. Um, it says that the flow rate is 0.9 gallons uh, per minute, so 3.5 liters a minute. It looks like maybe I had a bit more than that based on time, but probably pretty close based on that 20 liter bucket. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I know this may have been somewhat boring, but I did want to show you a very inexpensive way to clean yourself uh, or clean things uh, if you're camping at the beach, things like that. 25 bucks and you got the ability to do that very easy, sustainable, right? And all you do is charge this thing up, fill it up with water, run it through. So check it out. I put the links down there in the description where they usually are. We'll have a couple other videos coming up. Appreciate y'all. Scratch your itch. Maybe clean your itch also. Oh, did you see that? A little reflection. Uh, bye.